Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Louis from Music for Humans and in this video I will show you everything you need to know about holding your violin. Before we get started, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel to get the latest tips on how to play the violin. So the most important thing before we even get started, no matter how you end up holding your violin, is for you to be relaxed and comfortable. Of course, each one of us is unique, we all have different bodies, so in the end, no one will hold their violin precisely the same way. However, there are still essential things to understand. Once you know the basics, you need to rely on how you feel to make sure that you are as comfortable as possible when you hold your violin. Here are the essential parts of the violin you will need to know to follow this lesson. First, the chin rest. The chin rest is pretty self-explanatory. It is used to rest your chin on when you hold your violin. Second is the shoulder rest. It is used to rest your violin on top of your shoulder. Third is the tailpiece. The tailpiece is located at the lowermost point of your violin and its primary function is to hold the strings in place. Fourth, the neck of the violin. The neck of your violin is where your left hand is going to spend most of its time when you play your violin. Fifth, the head of your violin. The head of the violin is located at the uppermost point of your violin where the pegs are fixed and this is also where the strings are attached on your violin. Sixth, the shoulders. The shoulders don't hold any particular function except it is a good place to hold your violin when practicing your violin hold. Now that you know all the essential parts of your violin, we are ready to get started. You might be wondering, shoulder rest or no shoulder rest? This is a hard one and such a personal choice that I will not tell you my personal preference. Instead of this, I will teach you both ways and let you make the choice for yourself. Again, remember the most important thing is for you to be comfortable and relaxed when you play your violin not to look like your favorite violinist. All right, so let's get started with the shoulder rest. So first, let's put the shoulder rest on our violin. So you just have to glide it around the side of your violin in the back, just like that. Place your right hand on the tailpiece at the back of your violin, left hand on the shoulder. Now we'll extend our left arm back and bring back the violin to land on our left shoulder. The tailpiece should be right above our collarbone and we should feel the violin touch our neck slightly. From this position, turn your head slightly to the left and rest your chin on the chin rest, holding your violin with the weight of your head only. Don't try to squeeze the violin, just the weight of your head. One thing to keep in mind when holding your violin is to keep your chest up. This will not only help you to hold your violin properly, but it will also help you to play properly with the bow. You also want to make sure you're not leaning forward too much or too far back. All right, so now let's do it without the shoulder rest. So we're going to go through the exact same process. First, extend your left arm out, then bring it back and land the violin on your left shoulder. The tailpiece should still be right above your collarbone and the violin should touch your neck. Turn your head slightly to the left and then put your chin down on the chin rest to hold your violin. Remember, don't squeeze the violin with your head. Just let the weight of your head rest on top of the chin rest. So now you should be able to hold your violin without using your left hand at all. If you still have trouble holding your violin without using your left hand, you might have to adjust your shoulder rest in a position that fits better your body. Try different position, try different things, and ultimately you should be able to hold your violin without your hand. There's also a very good exercise you can do in order to know if you're holding it properly. It's try to touch your right shoulder with your left hand. Now let's talk about the left hand. In an optimal case, you really want to hold your violin using your shoulder and your chin rather than gripping the neck too tightly with your left hand. This will allow us to have more control and freedom with our left hand. To make sure we use our left hand properly, I will make you do a quick little exercise. Put your left hand like this and try to touch the side of your index finger with your thumb. 
So that exact spot where your thumb touches your index finger is where our index finger is going to touch the neck of the violin. On the opposite side, our thumb will touch the neck with the soft pad. Our forearm and wrist should be in a straight line. Don't hold the violin like this with your wrist because it's going to create a lot of problem when we start shifting or trying to move our hand up and down the violin. As you go up and down the neck, you wanna make sure that you always keep that straight line. You might want to start moving your wrist like this, but try not to do this. Your elbow, should be in a very relaxed position, hanging right under your violin. Your elbow position is still a flexible one. It will move from left to right as you change from the G string up to the E string, and also as you move up in position. Considering you might be a beginner, the first place you will start to play with your left hand is in first position. So what I want you to do is to put your left hand as close as the head of the violin as you can. And with like a very round finger, place your fingers one by one on the string. This will be your first position. Don't worry, we will talk more about playing in first position and where to place your finger in the video on how to play your first violin notes. And so let's do this one last time. First, put your right hand next to the tailpiece, left hand on the shoulder of your violin, extend the violin out, bring it back, land it on top of your left shoulder, making sure the tailpiece is right above your collarbone, Turn your head left, not a little bit, hold the violin with just the weight of your hand, then touch the side of your index finger with your thumb. Remember, this is where your index finger is going to touch the neck of the violin, and then place your thumb right at the back of your violin neck, and you're ready to go. You know how to hold your violin. With these tips in mind, you're well on your way to hold your violin like a pro. Practice makes perfect, so grab your violin right now and get started. Thank you so much for watching my video on how to hold your violin. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel to get the latest tips on how to play the violin. If you have any questions, please comment or you can write me at musicforhumans.com.